All right, well, I'm just going to do a quick little uh, art tour here, uh, showing four different pages from uh, Minky Falls Spring, the first book, coming out in just three weeks. Uh, pretty excited about that. But anyway, I thought I would uh, use my computer screen here to show you some pages and uh, uh, take advantage of the ability to kind of zoom in and show you things in greater detail. Uh, this one page, I kind of liked this uh, technique that uh, I used where you get to see both uh, what she is seeing and her reaction to what she's seeing. Miki is looking down uh, and uh, here you can see a little more closely uh, she sees Hiro uh, down there in a park below and uh, by splitting her face in half we get to see uh, her kind of look of uh, surprise or uh, curiosity as she sees that. Um, here's a page where I just sort of like uh, the look on Miki's face. For some reason I love to put her into these situations where she feels very sort of sheepish and shy. And uh, let me just zoom in here a little so we can see Miki's expression there. Poor thing, she's so intimidated by Hiro. And then I'm just going to hopefully bring this down. I don't know if I'll be too close to show. Oh yeah, a little too close. Let's pull back. Uh, a close-up of her eyes. The eyes are so important in um, uh, manga. And um, even now, I still don't get it right every time. But I liked the way it turned out in this one particular panel. Um, this one is in one of my slideshows. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, you can't really see the whole image in the slideshow, this rainy day scene. I was pretty pleased with how this one turned out. And uh, up there you see like watercolor clouds. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see I actually was able to do a little of that kind of watercolor type thing for that. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite things about this is the way the reflections turned out. The puddles on the ground. If you ever want to do a rainy day scene, you might want to try this out. Make the puddles white, reflecting the sky. It is kind of a cool effect. And of course, if you can get a little reflection in the puddle, that uh, is even better. And uh, finally, this is uh, one of the big uh, scenic uh, panorama shots uh, in, in spring. And uh, I was just uh, really concerned with creating the feeling, what it feels like to be up on a mountaintop looking down on a big, vast scene. And so I just went crazy with the detail <laughs> on this one. I think I'll just go ahead, just to give you an idea of how much detail. I'm just going to keep zooming in until you see uh, the individual pencil lines. Yeah, that's what I was doing, just going kind of nutty with the uh, details on this one. But uh, it's all for the purpose of creating that feeling, and I just wanted to point out and thank my editor uh, for coming up with this idea of putting uh, this flock of birds here in the in the midground, you know, passing between where they're standing. That was not my idea. That was my editor said, "Hey, how about if you put that in there?" And I thought, "Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect." In fact, I liked it so much that I threw in a second flock of birds over there. <laughs> But uh, anyway, just a quick little art tour for you there of uh, Mickey Falls Spring coming out on May 1st. Hope you'll uh, keep an eye out for it uh, in your bookstore. So thanks again, and I'll be back soon with uh, more stuff to show you. Oh, and a quick shout-out before I go to my four subscribers over there at YouTube. I've got four of them now, Mayumi and uh, Bruce and uh, I think it's Tina K and Marcello. Thanks so much. Any uh, Anyone else out there wants to subscribe, I would be honored to have you watch my videos as I keep rolling them out. Okay, well, that's it for now. Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.